Oh, honestly, there's nothing to see here. I'm just testing this. <laughs> I'm doing top gear. This is like my top gear, uh, but uh, testing periscope just to uh, see something. Um, how's the sound? You may as well help me while I'm here. Uh, what's the what's the audio and video quality like? As I'm driving along. I'll, I'll read your comments in the at the uh, next traffic light, of which there are quite a few. Uh, framing could be better. Oh, I think you're being sensitive about that. This is slimming. If I go any further over this way, it's it's a little tubby. This is more artsy, right? This is this is art framing. There's 18 people. What are you doing, 18 people? Actually, it's interesting. Um, the reason I'm testing out the, the Periscope again for the number of times is is not because of, there's, there's been a couple of webinars recently. Um, Andy and Mike have put on a, a webinar about Periscope, which was interesting. But what's really got me interested is my three daughters. Um, because... They are now, you know, in my day, I had an ABBA lunchbox, right? Uh, I loved chips, the TV, well, chips the food, obviously, but chips the TV program, right? I adored chips the TV program. I had Star Wars, right? All of those, um, all of those different things. But my daughters are obsessed, literally obsessed with the YouTubers, uh, and it's fascinating. And rather than saying, oh, you know, what are you doing with your lives watching people, other people's lives vlogging? I thought, hang on, why? Why? What is this? What's going on? And so that's what I've been doing. I've been uh, doing just doing a little bit of research and Periscope is, is part of this uh, as well. But it's a fascinating phenomena to me. Um, that it's the, it is literally the, you know, what did, you know, what did our parents say to us? You know, you're watching too much television. It'll make you go crazy. I was read an article uh, from the 30s about how the youth are reading, uh, are listening to radio too much, and it's going to destroy civilization. Um, you know, and and I'm just looking at what people are watching and looking at, and YouTube is just going crazy. Oh, you know, wow, big, geez, Ed, you're on the cutting edge. Wow, YouTube's big. No shit. Um, <laughs> And that's true, really. Right? Yeah, there's there's no question about that. Uh, but the way it's being used and the the community building, effectively, that's being done there, is uh, is fascinating. And so, Periscope is interesting because as much you know, it's, it's amazing to me that there's 21 people watching this as we uh, drive through Melbourne. I wish I had the thing up higher, I could at least show you where we're going, it'd be a bit interesting, but the, but the fact that I can save this and then upload that to YouTube, uh, because I'm always keen, you know, one of the key, um, you know, as much as we want a sense of individuality, we are at our core communal creatures, we need family, we need um, community, and in a sense, uh, the internet, if inverted commas, one of its neg most negative features is its sense of isolation, particularly for work. You know, obviously now, neck of the woods, where, you know, people are creating their businesses, they're working from home, they have team members and stuff, but they're all over the world. You, in a sense, lose a little bit of that sense of community. And what I'm seeing with YouTube and what's so fascinating to me and to watch the, the YouTubers and, you know, you look at it and you look at the, and when I, what do I mean when I say YouTubers? It's these this young generation of, uh, like in British YouTubers, like uh, Zoella and Thatcher Joe and uh, Ben Phillips and they're doing pranks and s challenges and all these sorts of things, and you go, well, that's all stupid and that's inane. Well, that's not my job. My job is to figure out why are these things being so powerful and so effective. And, you know, these kids, and I can refer to them as kids now, I'm getting old, um, you know, each video, they've got millions, literally millions of kids uh, watching all over the world in, you know, 
in numbers ABBA or Chips would have dreamed about, right? And that, to me, uh, is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And so the question is, well, okay, for my, uh, what I do and looking at niches and looking at uh, people making a living in the markets that they love, can we take the lessons from these YouTubers and the way the YouTubers work and then apply them in our markets, whether that be, you know, pottery valuation, whether that be underwater kickboxing, whether it be uh, stamp collecting, whether it be golf tips, whatever that happens to be, um, can we use these lessons that these YouTubers are teaching? And so that's the interesting thing. And, and that's, you know, my, you know, what is innovation, but innovation is effectively taking something that works in a completely different field and then applying it to your field. Uh, that is a big part of, of what innovation is. So that's why I'm doing this, and uh, th thank you for, uh, for uh, helping me test this out, because, hey, you know, one of the reasons I haven't used Periscope much, and this is a, this is a stupid, weird reason, is that the technology blows me away. You know, I've been doing this online stuff now uh, for so long, you know, 1994, that the concept of me in effectively um, sending high definition video across the planet while I'm driving in a car, right? The mentality, like the, the, the technical amazement of that, and I shouldn't be like this, right? This is crazy, it's, it's crazy to think of it, but it's just the, the, the it doesn't seem natural, you know. I remember when we were literally paying $50,000 a pop, $50,000 to broadcast to 20,000 people online simultaneously, you know, back at, in the, you know, the early 2000s. That's how much it cost. You know, the gear and the equipment to do this is insane. And what I like about this, and because I'm all about reuse as well, is that if you can take elements of this, because now with Periscope, when I first tried Periscope, because I tried it early days, you couldn't really record the video and upload it to YouTube later, or you couldn't um, use the video. Uh, and that to me is fantastic, because to be able to take highlights out of this and then add it into the YouTube stuff as well, that's really interesting as well. So uh, yeah, fascinating stuff, fascinating. So anyway, thank you for uh, being here on this, uh, as I say, this little test. I think I will be doing more of, uh, more of this stuff because, it, it, as I say, I think it's the future. Um, I think it's the, uh, you know, we need community, you know, as much as we like individuality and uncertainty in effect, that gives us our variety. Variety is a much better word, isn't it? We need, we crave variety. The other thing we crave is community. And I think seeing somebody, you know, like this is, you know, podcasts are awesome, uh, you know, and they're doing brilliantly, right? Um, but uh, again, I think there's something about the video aspect of this. We're consuming more video, we're watching more video. Um, I see somebody say they're uh, missing walking with Larry. You're right. You know, that's, um, yeah, I think, well, it's something I've been telling the girls, you know, so what I've been telling the girls, and I'll finish with this, is I said, look, I don't mind you watching, you, if you want to choose, if you want to spend your leisure time watching these YouTubers, God bless you. I'm not going to be like my parents saying, you know, the, the, what, what do they say, you know, what do our parents say to us? Oh, that TV, it'll make your eye square. Well, what happened? Um, it'll, uh, you know, you'll, you'll go sterile from being in front of the TV. In fact, probably the old TVs, you could be in front, go sterile in front of the TV. I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. But I've got one rule is that if you're going to watch, then you have to create. So you have to, I want you to put together your own YouTube channel and I want you to create your own videos. If you are going to be consuming, I want you to create. Now, you know, I don't mind, you know, if it's, if you're consuming 10 hours of, of YouTube, then, you know, I want you to be creating 30 minutes. 
you know, because I think, you know, that's the thing, you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to be, uh, that's the difference, you know, there was no chance as a, you know, 11-year-old watching Chips, what a great program that was, um, there was no way that I could produce a TV show. Right? Impossible. I lived in Beechworth in Victoria. A tiny little town. No chance. But now, there's no reason why my daughter can't start her own YouTube channel and start producing video. Right? There's no reason. And this is what I'm trying to get across to them. That, you know, it's important that if you're going to consume, it's cool to consume. No problem at all. I, I have no, you know, we all do. We all have our things. And in fact, I would argue that it's actually very important. You know, you need to give your mind a rest. But having said that, you can't be a complete consumer. You've got to produce. You've got to contribute back into the ecosystem. And so while I'm telling my daughter this, I'm going, geez, Ed, well, what have you contributed this last week? So that's why, you know, these sorts of things are interesting. So with that, I have no idea how to turn Periscope off, by the way. Uh, so you may be going all the way out to Melton with me, but um, <laughs> if I uh, if I figure it uh, if I figure out how to turn it off, I'll um, turn it off. But uh, you know, I can't. It's crazy. Look at that. Um, how do I turn this off? I'm tapping the screen, trying not to crash. I wait for a traffic light here. I need uh, I need skills. I need skills. Where are we? How do I turn it off? Oh, here we are. Swipe down to swap. Stop. Here we go. See you later. Oh, I can't. Hang on. No, you're still with me. <laughs> Sorry. I'll figure out this. Here we are. Here we are. Stop broadcast.